Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our third session. Today's session, as you know, is focusing on the spine and posture. My name is Carmen. With me today are Val and Madison. We are all first year physical therapy students at George Washington University. We're excited to be here. Um, and especially for those who've come back, thank you for sticking with us. Um, so before we begin, make sure you have a chair. We're gonna need a TheraBand today. If you have the red ones of medium resistance that we pass along or your own, even if you don't have any, that's okay. But we will be using one today as well as water bottle. It's important to stay hydrated. It's super hot today. So make sure you have it handy when we take breaks. Uh, feel free to take us up. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna run down a little bit of what we're doing today. So we're gonna start with a warm up. For those of you who have been with us before, it'll be quite similar. This is just gonna help us get our heart rates going a little bit, warm our bodies up just a little bit as well. Um, our rounds this time are gonna be a bit different. So this session is focused on the spine and really helping strengthen those muscles that keep us safe, keep us functional and moving. Um, and it also uh, really maximizing our mobility. So how well we can move around um, with our range of motion, things like that. So we'll have two rounds. Each round we'll repeat three times. Um, and then we'll end the session with a nice little stretch, again, helping us uh, really move that spine in all the right ways, okay? Um, so before we begin, I'm just gonna give a little quick rundown of why it's important to protect our spine, okay? So our spine naturally has three curves to it, right? If we turn to our side, I'll turn this way. We'll see that our head juts out just a little bit. So we'll have a little bit of, of a curve this way. Our, our chest will curve the other way. So go a little bit around. And then our hips will jut out this way where we'll have another third curve. These curves are really important to keep us functional, to keep us moving. Um, and so we really wanna work on strengthening the muscles that allow us to maintain this. Sometimes with our jobs, with how we sit, any behavior we can have can sometimes affect these postures and really, you know, kind of either exaggerate them, make them lower. So we really want to find a nice balance. Um, and these exercises are going to help isolate those muscles that do that. So we're focusing on strengthening our muscles and really um, improving our range of motion as well. Okay. Um, all right. So we've gone over the side view. I also just want to remind you if you're looking at yourself in a mirror or even in the camera, when you're looking forward, we're also looking for shoulders to be over your hip and your hips to be over your toes, which are hip width apart, okay? Sometimes you might have a habit of leaning over, especially if you're sitting down, uh, leaning on your elbow, but really we wanna focus on good posture. So shoulders back, down, uh, and over your hips, okay? So with that being said, we're ready to get started with our warm up. I'll go ahead and get the timer going. All right, so for this first warm up, we're going to start with our head. So we're going to take our head and do some neck rolls. We're going to go down and around. Go nice and slow, really feeling that stretch in your neck. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and switch the other way, making sure all of the muscles in our neck are really getting warmed up here. Nicely done. All right, we're gonna move on into our next one. You're gonna take your shoulders up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. All right, let's keep going. We'll switch the other way in three, two, one. So this time you're gonna go forward, back, down, and back. Forwards, down, and back. Forwards, down, and back. Nicely done. Really feel those muscles stretch as you bring them back, bring them forward. All right, this time we're gonna go ahead and be hip width apart. So you're gonna keep your back straight as you roll those hips all the way back, all the way forwards. All the way back, all the way forwards. Really feeling that hip stretch in the back of your legs. All right, and we'll go ahead and switch around. So forwards, going back, forwards, and going back. All right, three, two, one. All right, for this next one, we're gonna stretch out our ankles. So I'm gonna have you place one ankle down and just do nice little ankle rolls on one side. Really feel that stretch in that ankle. Wanna make sure we're keeping 
each other safe, making sure our ankle has nice mobility to it. We'll go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, keep that toe on the ground as you rotate that ankle. In three, two, one. This next one is really gonna help us focus uh, getting our hearts rate up. So we're gonna go to the right, touch, left, touch. All right, if you wanna add some snaps to this one, it always makes me happy, you know? Get some music going as well. <laughs> but this one's getting our heart rate up, really making us feel the burn. <laughs> All right, we've got eight seconds left of this. Really feel that heart rate going up in three, two, one. This is another one where it's going up with one leg, up with the other leg. Let's go. This is a nice one. Really functional whenever you need to go up the stairs. Even walking, this motion is crucial. We're just gonna be here for a while. It's also like, a fun one. <laughs> it reminds me when I was a, an athlete in my younger days. <laughs> Let's skip it around. <laughs> All right, in three, two, one. All right, this is the next, this is a Zumba one. So we're gonna step out with our right foot, hand forward. Step out with left, hand forward. And we'll go for about 35 more seconds. I'm a big fan of Zumba, so. I definitely <laughs> took this one from all of my Zumba classes. I love some Moringa music. <laughs> 20 more seconds. Feeling that heart rate go up. Make sure to breathe as well while you're doing these. Inhale on one side, exhale on the other. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and be next to a chair. We're gonna take baby lunges. So let's put one forward, one foot forward, bend down, up, down, up. Make sure these are small little lunges, nothing too deep. This is just a warm up, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and switch legs. So step back again and tiny little baby lunges. These are nice. Ooh, ladies, how are we feeling? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, let's move on to our next one here. We're just gonna go ahead and take our arms, bring them forward and back. With this one, really squeeze those shoulder blades at the bottom and bring your shoulders forward at the top. So sh shoulders forward, shoulder blades back. We've got 10 seconds left. And nice. Three, two, and one. All right, that's our warm up. Good job. Feel free to take some water now. I'm going to walk us through the next round as you take a break, just so we know what we're doing. It makes it a little easier to follow along. So, most of the exercises we'll be doing seated. This first one is going to be called a chin tuck. So, it's really helping us protect um, and strengthen the muscles of this first curve in our neck. So, you'll be here and you'll bring your chin. All right, you're gonna tuck your chin in. It might make it easier if you bring your finger to your nose and bring your nose back so that you can just kind of see your finger just a little bit and then return to that chin. One, two. Make sure not to move your finger. Keep it as stationary as possible, but just bring your nose back and forward, back and forward. Um, also, another thing is make sure you're not bending your head this way, all right? The motion really is bringing your chin, keeping it level as you bring it back, okay? So that's our first exercise. Our second one is gonna be a seated reverse fly. We'll do that with a band. If you don't have a band, that is totally fine. This works uh, even without any resistance, okay? So from the front, you're gonna go ahead and put your hands about shoulder width apart with the band, and you're gonna stretch out and forward. You wanna keep your arms level with your shoulders. If you want to make this slightly easier, you can always bring your arms, your hands out a little wider with the band. And if you want to make it maybe harder, you can separate it a little bit more. Okay. But we're going to keep it at shoulder, shoulder length. From the side, you'll see like this, you'll go out and in. With this exercise, we want to be aware of what our hips are doing as well. We don't want to be too forwards like this. We don't want to be too back or slouched like this. You really want to be in the middle here keeping a nice straight trunk 
Think about a rod going from your head all the way down to your hips, okay? So we'll keep that straight as we bring our shoulders back when we bring our arms back and our shoulders go a little forward, okay? So that's our second one. Next, we have seated rock and rolls. I like this one because it really helps you be aware of what your hips are doing. So from the side, what we'll do is we'll tilt our hips forward, breathing as we go forward, and then we'll bring our hips back, breathing out as we go back. Okay, so these are, think about being a rocking chair, right? Your hips are a rocking chair. As you go forward, breathing in, as you go back, breathe out. These are really good for just being aware of what your hips are doing. A lot of times we forget um, what proper movement should be, um, especially when we're sitting up, uh, when we're just sitting normally. So it's good to know what your hips are doing. And this one really helps you kind of be aware and reforge that connection with your body. Um, and so we're gonna, from here, we're gonna go into our next exercise, which kind of incorporates this one, a sit to stand. So you're gonna be sitting down about at the edge of your chair. You're gonna come up. And as you come up, I want you to think about that rock and roll motion by tucking your pelvis in. So from here to here, okay? So from the side, if I'm coming to standing, I'll be seated at the edge. I'm gonna come up and tuck in that pelvis, okay? Um, just a few reminders when you're coming to standing, we wanna see your chest come forward. If you need to push off from the chair, please do. So push off, head forward, over your toes, come up, tuck your pelvis. That's the first round, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do it. We'll do three, uh, we'll do this round three times. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Reminder, first exercise, our chin tucks. So we'll be seated. I'll go ahead and go to the side here as well. Nose, finger on your nose, and bring your chin back. Chin back. Remember, keep that chin level. We don't wanna see any bending like this. Make sure you even, might even be helpful to put your hand under your chin and make sure you're keeping it level. That's another good way. All right, everyone's looking really good. I can see you guys. You guys are looking very good. Nice. We've got 13 seconds left, so let's push it. Ooh. I love this exercise because sometimes it's so easy for me to just be like this all the time. So this one, just reminding me to tuck my chin in really helps improve that posture. All right, so 15 second break. Get a water, get some, a sip of water if you need some, but good job with that one. Um, so next is seated reverse fly. We'll get a TheraBand. We're sitting at the edge of our seat. TheraBand goes out, bring your shoulders, squeeze the shoulders back and shoulders go forward. Shoulder blades should be squeezed. Nice. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe and then nicely down. So this is a good one, again, for posture. Um, rounding of the back is a really common thing that we see. So just remembering to strengthen those back muscles kind of reminds those shoulder blades. Get back in the position that they should be. This is a really nice one for that. And two and one second left. All right, 15 second break. Next exercise we're gonna be doing are those seated rock and rolls. So just a reminder, seated like this, you're gonna focus on tilting it forward, breathing in and then breathing out. And let's go for it. Tilt that hip forward while you breathe in, bring it back and exhale. An important thing to remember is that you're not curving your, your upper spine, right? You're not going like this and like this. It's really your hips that are doing all the work. We've got 15 seconds left of this. Nicely done. Keep breathing and three, two, and one. All right, you've got 15 second rest. Our next exercise is sit to stand. This one is gonna get your heart pumping. <laughs> Love this one. Reminder, head forward. You can put your hands on your seat if you need to help. And you stand up and tuck that pelvis in. Let's go, head forward, stand up, tuck your pelvis in. Nice. We're gonna take a nice seat all the 
way down and redo it. Let's go. Really tuck that pelvis in, activate your core, activate those back muscles that you need to stand up. Okay, good. Breathe in and breathe out. We got 15 seconds left of this. Woo! Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling this. My temperature is going up. I'm just glad we're not exercising outside. <laughs> And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, that's the first round. We're gonna start again with chin tucks. Good job, woo. Oh man, it's tough, it's tough. All right, so finger to your nose. Let's go with chin tucks. Back and forward, back and forward. I'm really try and look at that finger. Your side to here and go back here and go back. This one actually is very helpful. Hand under your chin, hand under your chin, my bad. And nicely done. Okay, 15 seconds left. You've got this. 10 seconds left. Really push that chin, tuck it under. And three. Two, one. Go ahead and rest. Get your TheraBand ready. These are the seated reverse flies. So grab a TheraBand, shoulder width apart. And we're going to get ready in three, two, and one. Bring those arms back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and come back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and relax. When you're coming back, make sure you're not releasing the TheraBand too fast. We don't want to see that. We really want to see a slow controlled motion. Val and Madison are doing a really good job, probably better than me, <laughs> um, but really slow that motion down. This is also getting in some arm strengthening. So really, this is a good one. <laughs> Reminder, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Make sure your trunk, is, your spine is straight, okay? We don't want to see any curving. We don't want to see any of this. All right, you can put their band down. We'll move on to our next exercise, the seated rock and rolls. I feel like we need some rock music when we're doing this one. <laughs> um, but yes, in three, two, one, we're going to go ahead and bring those hips forwards, breathing in and back, breathing out. Again, we don't want to see any rounding of the spine, no shoulders coming forward. Try and keep those shoulders up and down. The only thing moving is your hips. Really isolate that pelvis. So breathe in when you're tilting forward. Breathe out when you're coming back. You've got 20 seconds left. And up and back. All right, everyone's looking good. You've got seven seconds left. All right. And three, two, and one. All right, good job. 15 second rest, and we're going into sit to stand. I really like putting the rock and roll in front of sit to stand because it really just helps you be more aware of what you're doing with your sit to stand. All right, when you're coming to standing. And three, two, one, head forward, come up, tuck that pelvis under. Nice. Lean back, take a seat, and we'll go again. Nice. Really squeeze at the top. And nice down. Let's go again. Make sure you're breathing during these exercises, okay? We, I feel like I have a tendency of just pursing my lips and forgetting about my lungs, <laughs> but we do need air. So breathe when you need to. This is all the time. <laughs> and take a seat. Nice. If you need some support, again, you can use your hands to push off and come to standing. All right, 15 second break. Um, good job, again, we've got one more round of this first round, so we're getting there. In five seconds, we'll be doing chin ducks, okay? Get ready, three, two, one, finger to nose, bring that chin back. 
is a very attractive, <laughs> very attractive exercise, but it's functional and that's what's really important. All right, Val's showing you the other, the other trick. Hand under, hand under your chin, bring it back. Show you from the side as well. This. Again, we don't want to see any going forwards like this. You should start from baseline and go back. Okay. Nicely done. A lot of you guys are doing it really well. Good job. In three, two, one, last one. All right, 15 second break. Um, next exercise is the beloved seated reverse flies. This is my favorite exercise. Madison's favorite exercise is gonna be in the next round. We'll see if you can guess which one it is. <laughs> Um, all right, so going back, squeeze those shoulder blades together and come forward. If you want to make it a little easier, again, separate those hands. Bring your shoulder blades back and then forwards. Shoulder blades back and forwards. You want to keep those elbows straight. And as we're coming back down, really go slow, all right? So maybe it, it might be helpful to count down. Let's do three, two, one, three seconds going back, three seconds going. Ready, I'll count out loud. Let's go one, two, three. One, two, three. This is, I love this exercise. I'm really feeling it in my shoulder blades right now. I think the three seconds is a good tip going forward. Okay, guys. Um, all right, let's put our TheraBand aside. That's 15 second rest. If you need some water, if you need a little bit of a break, please enjoy this. Ooh. Next exercise are the rock and rolls. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead, hips going forward like this, breathing in, going back, breathe out. Nice big breath. Hips go forward and now hips go back. Okay. So just a reminder, we don't need to see this entire motion here. That's our next exercise, that's our sit to stand. For now, just try and isolate those hips. Just bring those hips forward and back. Forward and back. Okay, we've got five seconds, four, three, two, and one. All right, 15 second break. Good job with that one. I know it can be hard to uh, really begin rethinking about what your body is doing, but relearning that process takes time, but it's so worth it um, in the long run. So in three, two, one, we'll be doing sit to stance, head forward and stand up, tuck that pelvis under, nice. And go forward, tuck that pelvis under. I'll go ahead and push off the chair. Sometimes it's hard for me to get up from a chair, quite frankly. <laughs> so I'm glad we can use our arms in this one. Breathe. In and out. And out. All right. We've got five seconds left of this one. And then we get a much longer break. So you can sip all the water you want to. All right. Good job with finishing that first round. That was a good one. Um, so please get some water. Just rest a little bit as I explain the next round. Um, all right, so this next round, we'll start standing. So this is the first exercise. We'll do one side first for about 20 seconds and then we'll switch with the other leg. So this is what it's gonna look like from the frontal view. So you're gonna bring your right leg or left leg, whichever one you're gonna start with, forwards. You're gonna go to the side and you're gonna go back. If you need something stable to hold on to, please hold on to your chair, okay? These are kind of like the baby lunges that we were doing at the beginning. This time we're working a little, we're adding some versatility to it, okay? We wanna make sure you're able to step in any direction. This is also really good for um, preventing falls. So we just wanna build those, um, build those muscles of our, of our, uh, our quads. So this, this muscle right here, but also um, be aware of what our spine is doing. So for this one, Again, I want you to think of a rod kind of going from your head all the way to your hips. We don't wanna see this motion, okay? 
if you need to come if you need to do that maybe just a little bit but really try and keep that back straight okay as you go forwards to the side and back okay um after that we'll do um oh this is madison's favorite exercise i love this one so you're going to take a theraband and if you don't have one that's totally fine you can do it without but you're, if you do have a theraband wrap it around your back like this you're going to go ahead and hold it in a nice little grasp like this you're going to go ahead and do a nice little box for this one we want to make sure uh, it's very easy to kind of move your hips like this when you're doing this, right? We want to keep those hips like in one plane. We don't want to see any hip motion. So keep that hip in line with your shoulders. Squeeze that core as you go forwards and back with your, with your boxing punches. Um, our third one is going to be a really functional one. We're going to be seated here. And essentially what we're gonna do is you're gonna lean forward like you're about to tie your shoelaces and come back. And then we'll go to the other side, all right? So we'll do one side and the other side. With this one again, think about having a flat flat back, all right? I think it's, a lot, it's very easy to round your shoulders like this, but we really wanna increase our range of motion, strengthen the muscles of your spine, the back that allow you to come back, all right? So that's our third exercise. And then we'll finish off this round with a pelvic lift. So you'll be standing. We'll do one side first, your hips. I think if you put your hands on your hips, this might be easier. You'll be here and you're gonna lift one hip off of the, uh, so your foot comes off the ground and go back to base. Um, make sure you keep your shoulders level as you do this, okay? So like this and down, like this and down. So no going like this, okay? Um, and then we'll do that on the other side as well. Um, but that's our second round, okay? So if you guys are ready, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our partial lunges. All right. And let's go. So bring that leg forward to the side and back. Forwards, side. Keep that back nice and straight. Let's go. All right. We're going to switch sides in three, two, one. Forwards, to sides, and back. Forwards, to sides, and back. As you come back, it might be easier for you to tap your foot on the ground just to regain balance, okay? Safety is the most important thing here. All right, and that's 15 seconds of rest. Okay, good job. Um, next is boxing. Love this one. I think it's so important to keep your exercises fun and this one just, this one's great. So wrap it around your back like this and let's get to punching. Let's go, nice. Keep those hips in line with your shoulder. Squeeze that core. All right. Feeling like Rocky Balboa. Love that movie. I'm not from Philly, but sometimes I rep Philly just for Rocky Balboa. <laughs> All right, we've got 20 seconds left. Let's get it. Whew, don't forget to breathe. All right, looking good. Keep those shoulders in line with your hips. Nice. And three, two, one. Nicely done. Next is our seated lumbar flexion. So we'll be seating and we'll go ahead and tie our shoes just like that, okay? Remember, we wanna make sure our back is flat when we're doing this. I'll show you from the side. Let's go for it. So lean forward like you're about to tie your shoes, come back. Lean forward like you're about to tie your shoes and come back. Really keep that back as flat as possible, okay? If you don't wanna see any rounding like this, keep those shoulders down and back as you lean forward and come back, okay? Everyone's looking good. We've got 20 seconds left of this, so whew, keep pushing. And when you're coming back and even coming down, it might be a good idea to slow this motion down. A lot of times we let gravity take us, but the work happens when this motion is controlled, okay? And three, two, one, 15 second rest. Good job with that one, really. That one's, that one's tough. 
Um, our last exercise of the pelvic lift, we'll start with uh, one side. So just lift that hip so your foot comes off the ground and touch base again. So hip goes up and down. If your hands are on your hips, it makes it really easy to see, to make sure that your hip is actually moving, okay? So that hip goes up and down. Keep those shoulders as straight as possible. In five seconds, we're gonna switch sides. And three, two, one. Let's switch on to the next. So lift that hip off the floor. I mean, <laughs> lift your foot off the floor, but <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> nice. Got 10 seconds left of this one. Really make sure that hip is moving up. Squeeze the, the core as you bring it up and down. All right, nice done, nicely done. 15 seconds left until we start uh, from the top. Uh, we got two more, two more rounds of this one. So we'll do partial lunges. All right. And let's go for it. Nice little baby lunges. Let's go. Again. Do this next to a chair, hold on to a kitchen countertop if you need to. Safety is our priority here. But forwards to the side and back. Make sure this motion is controlled. Keep in that trunk, keeping your spine as flat as possible. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and switch side. Go up. To the side and back. All right. We're going to keep it going just a little bit more to make sure we're um, doing the same amount of time on each. All right, let's do three, two, and one. All right. So our next exercise. Oh, we get a little bit of a break here. Whew. All right. Um, but next, we're gonna go ahead and go into our boxing. So wrap that their band around and let's go for it. Let's go, engage that core. Don't forget to breathe. In and out. This is another good one for your arms, especially if you have um, a TheraBand. This one can really, you can tailor it to whatever intensity you want to. So if you wanna go a little harder, bring those arms, bring those hands a little closer to your chest as you pull the TheraBand away from you. All right, we're gonna be here with five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Our next one, we're gonna be seated, okay? So sitting down, I'll show you from the side as well. Let me go from this way. All right, and we're gonna go down as we tie our shoes. Nicely done. Tying our left shoe, then we're tying our right shoe, keeping our trunk nice and straight as we go down, okay? So no rounding like this. Make sure you're keeping those shoulders down and back. So down and back like this, okay? As we go down and come up. All right. Everyone's looking very good. You guys are, I can see the screen over here. That's why I'm looking over here, but everyone is looking good. Nice. We've got 10 seconds left, so keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, nicely done with that one. Yeah, all right, so our last one is our pelvic unilateral lift. So again, hands on the hip or even on the chair if you need it. So really feel that one side of the hip going up as your foot comes up. And let's go for it. My heart is really beating fast, y'all. I don't know what to say. I don't know, but this is, but, I, but it feels good though, it really does. A lot of these exercises are isolating muscles that are gonna protect our spine. And it's always good to do that. We'll go ahead and switch side. So, sorry. <laughs> Lift up that hip and go down. Lift and go down. Keeping those shoulders straight in line with that hip. And five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. We've got one more round of this second one. So 
we're getting there and then we have a nice cool down stretch so just really put it put everything you got into this next round we're gonna go hard <laughs> so we'll start with lunges bring that leg forward to the side and back and if you want to make this harder you can definitely go deeper okay deeper into that lunge controlling that motion as you bring that leg forward and come up okay all right and we're going to switch sides and let's go forwards to the side and back all right as you're doing this exercise make sure you're not leaning your trunk forward okay keep that trunk straight up again shoulders back and down as you do that lunge and three, two, one. 15 second rest. Good job. Next exercise is boxing. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> if I start singing, I won't stop. So I should probably just stop now. We're <laughs> going to boxing though. Let's go for it. Woo. You can pick up the pace to make this more of a cardio workout as well, but make sure you're still engaging that core, tucking that pelvis under, okay? If you don't wanna see any of this, squeeze in that core, tuck that pelvis in. All right, make sure you're going, you're controlling that motion as you come back, okay? A lot of times it's so easy to snap up and then just let it go like this, but really as you go up, control it as it comes down, okay? That's where we'll see the strength, the strength happening, okay? We'll get better and stronger. We've got five more seconds of this one. I love this one. All right, three, two, one. Nicely done. All right, next we've got our seated uh, lumbar flexion. So we're gonna go ahead and tie some shoes. Get ready in three, two, one. Nice. Really. You can't go all the way down to your shoes, that's fine. You wanna make sure you're stopping wherever um, you don't feel any pain, whatever your range of motion is, okay? So as far as you can go is, is perfectly fine. Just make sure to keep that back straight, okay? That's what we're focusing on. We're focusing on our spine. Don't forget to breathe, breathe out. So breathe in as you're seated, exhale as you go and tie your shoes. So we've got three, two, one. Nicely done. Last exercise coming up. Woo, we're there. We are there. All right, five seconds left of a nice little break and we're going into our last one. Hands on your hip if you need to. Lift that hip off the ground. Nice, keep those shoulders as straight as possible, don't round over like that. Keep them straight. And down, up, and down. From the side. And turn. And we'll switch sides. If it makes it easier, make sure to hold on to the chair, okay? It does definitely give you a little more control. Make sure you're doing the exercise right. Three, two, one. All right, good job, good job. Round two is done. Um, and we're gonna move on into the stretch. Let's make sure to take a sip of water before we do that. Really regulate your breath again, breathe in. Big inhale, big exhale. But really good job keeping up with these exercises. Um, I saw a lot of good work, so nicely done. Um, I'll go ahead and get us started with the stretch. And we'll go ahead and get a nice cool down session going on. So we'll start with the, the stretch right here. You're gonna bring your head to the side. And if you will need a deeper stretch, you can bring your hand lightly on your head as you kind of deepen that stretch, okay? I don't want to see any pushing, no pushing on your head down to the side. Just a nice, gentle, just a nice, gentle um, kind of um, tap, right? This is really stretching these muscles of the neck here, making sure they're nice and long. 
but there's no tightness to them. My neck always gets tight. So this is a really good stretch for me. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So bring that head to the side. If you need it, you can help with that other hand. Gently adding some pressure, okay? Nothing too intense again. This is just supposed to be feel like, it's supposed to feel like a pulling sensation, okay? So stretching, you don't want any pain. It's supposed to feel nice and comfortable, nice comfortable pull. All right, and we'll go on and move on to the next one. We'll just demo this one. Basically, head should be looking towards the armpits. And same thing with your hand. You can apply some light pressure as your head kind of goes near the armpit, okay? So just a, a nice little, you're gonna look down, rotate to the side and bring your head, okay? All right, we've got a little bit more time on this side, about 10 seconds and then we'll switch over, okay? Really feel that pull in the back of the neck this time. I like this one as well. Now let's go ahead and switch sides. So flex your neck, rotate to the side. Really feel that stretch down the back of the neck, this time on the opposite side of the neck. This is a good one to do if you've been at work all day, your neck has really been forward and your posture hasn't been so great. Your muscles can get really tight in this area. So this is a good one to practice, honestly, every day. And three, two, one. Nicely done. Our next stretch is going to be a side bend. So you'll be seated. You can just bring your arm, kind of try and reach for the floor. Um, and if you need an extra stretch, you can bring that other arm over. Just helps add some more pressure to this. Let me make it a little, get a deeper stretch. Okay, as you're doing this, make sure your hips are staying straight. It's only your upper, uh, your upper chest that's moving. Okay. Nice, deep stretch. And the longer you stay here, chances are the deeper you can go into the stretch. So if you can push just a little bit more without feeling any pain, go for it. We're gonna switch sides here. So again, reach for the floor. And if you need to, for a deeper stretch, bring that arm over as you really fall into the stretch. We're here for 15 more seconds. Don't forget to breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next is our gonna be our figure four stretch. We've done this one before. So nice, uh, put your heel over your knee and for a deeper stretch, you can lean forward. Val is showing you guys, uh, if you can't fully do this motion here, you can do whatever works for you, okay? So bring your heel onto your knee and just lean forward just a bit. You'll be feeling this nice stretch down the back of your um, of your leg. All right. This is another important um, part of the exercise of a stretch. Keep that back flat, okay? We don't want to see any rounding. You should feel nice in the back of the back of the knee. All right. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So again, heel over the top of the knee. Just lean forward just a bit until you feel kind of a pulling sensation. They should be comfortable, okay? We don't want any painful, no painful stretching. That's not the best. All right, we're gonna be here for 10 more seconds. So I love this stretch as well. It's really important to stretch at the end of your workouts. It really reduces any risk of injury. All right, three, two, one. You can bring that leg back down. Our last stretch is a standing hip flexor stretch. It's kind of like a lunge, all right? So you're gonna be standing here. You'd be next to a chair, okay? As you step forward, tuck your pelvis under and keep a nice straight trunk. If you wanna have a deeper stretch, you can bend that first knee. So again, you're gonna step with one leg forwards. You're gonna tuck your pelvis in, hold on to chair. You need a deeper stretch, just bend that first, that front knee a little bit more. All right, we're gonna switch side. So one leg forward, tuck that pelvis under and lean and bend that first knee just a bit. You should be feeling a pull, pulling sensation in the front of your hip. 
Feels good. All right, and five, four, three, two, one. All right, nicely done. That is the end of this workout session. You guys look amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I enjoyed leading it, and I know Val and Madison enjoyed doing these exercises right alongside me. If anybody has questions, feel free to ask them. Hi, I just, it's Patricia, and I just want to say that I, I thought it was a really excellent, excellent workout. Um, it covered every part of the body. I feel uh, a, more energy flowing through my body as a result. And um, what was great about the exercises is one of the other things that was great about the exercises is that you could go as far as you needed to. So you could relax it if it was too strenuous or you could um, go a little more if you felt like you you could do it um, so there was a a, a a nice range of choice about how you did the exercise and you still I still feel like I got the benefit even though I wasn't able to do everything perfectly I was able to do I was able to do it um, and 45 minutes is a great amount of time and again, just the variety the, and the quality of the exercises and your um, delivery, you know, very gentle, direct, clear, um, made it really easy to, to follow all the steps. And I thank you very much. Thank you so much. We really appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving us. And we definitely agree. You want to take these um, exercises only within your limits. All right. Nobody's perfect. Um, but just do the best you can. Thank you so much. I encourage people to fill out the, the survey that I'll send out in the thank you email um, to give similar feedback or constructive criticism because um, they're obviously students and, and want to build on this for the future. But I thank everyone for coming. And if you have any questions, uh, we still have a few more minutes here if you have questions, but I definitely want to thank everyone for turning out. Thank, all right. you. thank you all. Thank you so much. Um, just one last thing before anyone goes, just a reminder, we received one question last week and we just wanted to follow up um, regarding the, um, how many times you should be doing um, exercise routines like this. So generally the World Health Organization recommends about 150 to 300 minutes per week of exercise. Um, and that can be light intensity, aerobic kind of exercises that get your heart pumping. Um, but it's also important to do um, more resistance training. So really focusing on building the strength of muscles. So things that use TheraBands, exercises like these are more resistance training, more focus on function, maintaining function, improving function. So two times a week, you wanna make sure um, that you're giving your body some time to rest as well, right? So maybe one rest day, two rest days between uh, those workout sessions. But we thought we should follow up about that, all right? Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.